Fishing the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Sandy Point Resort. Experience Sandy Point Resort's year-round lifestyle on the shores of Gull Lake in Central Alberta. Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Adventure Destination International, book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destination International and Thompson's Camps, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of fishing the Wild West TV. Hi, I'm Wes David, host of Fish in the Wild West TV. On this week's episode, we got an amazing adventure with you with the ladies with Lenny's at Black Bear Island Lodge. Jessica, tell us a little bit about the contest. So Len Thompson was my great grandfather and I think we just really wanted to celebrate women in the outdoors. So we started a contest called Ladies with Lenny's and we're actually here with the winner today, Stephanie Roberts. It was an absolute honor to win such an incredible trip opportunity with amazing names in the outdoors like Len Thompson and Black Bear Island Lodge. It's a beautiful place and I cannot wait to possibly catch 40 or 50 inch pike. We're going to do it. Yeah, we are. The fastest growing community in the outdoors is women and we've got two of them here today at Black Bear Island Lodge. Stay tuned for a great episode of Northern Pike Fishing with Len Thompson Lures and the Ladies with Lenny. Black Bear Island Lodge is known for monster pike like the wager of bets? Absolutely. Two against one. Okay. Biggest pike at the end of our five days wins. Losers have to serve the winner supper. The winner supper. So the How winner. How can we make that more interesting? Yeah, because the winner is obviously going to be us and the loser is going to be you. So I'm hoping Don maybe has like a pink floral apron or something nice that you can serve us in. I'll wear it fishing. You will wear it fishing. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a really good fish. <clears throat> Out here, you can see there's weed beds way over there, shoreline behind us. And Archie took us to this spot here where it's just rocks out in the middle of nowhere. And they've actually got them marked just so they don't tear the bottom, the legs off their motors. And I made one cast. Here she is. She's a really nice. Now I got to keep her away from the boat. This is where you got to reach out because you don't want your line rubbing on the edge of the boat. And then take your time. She's just realized she's hooked now, so you don't want to, you don't want to horse her in. She's beautiful. That's the old original, Len Thompson, five of diamonds. We're fishing here this week with the great granddaughter of Len Thompson, the founder of, of Len Thompson Lures. I'll bring her over to you, Archie. That is a beautiful, that's a trophy fish. And she's scarred up, so something else has been, been chewing on her, fighting. She was 42 and a half, so we're gonna round her up to 43. Get her in the water. This off the hook works amazing. We're gonna show you that here in a minute. Beautiful fish, 42 and a half. So round up, 43, 43 inches. Just with me lifting her, I'm guessing it was 26, 27 pounds. So it was a beautiful fish. And what I caught it on here is the original Five of Diamonds, Len Thompson Lure, 24 inch, 50 pound leader. I got 20 pound braided line and the Churchill River systems. What an amazing river. What an amazing fishery. So we just come off the water. We're on an, a little island here. And you've heard me stress before about wearing sunglasses when you're fishing, um, acting as safety glasses. I've done it a million times. I brought up a small pike to the edge of the boat. I reached down and grabbed my leader reach for the pike and just as I did that he went crazy back come the Len Thompson lures number two Len Thompson lures so it's a heavy lure stuck me in the lip 
down through and out the bottom of my lip. Uh, we come up to shore, cleaned it up. We used the first aid kit out of the boat, cleaned it up and super glued it, get back on the water. Now that's something, it just hurts. Yeah, and you can heal from that. I've had them in my hands, I've had them in my leg, now my lip. But if I had got it in my eye, my trip would be over. And this is our first morning on the water. So you don't want to end a trip of a lifetime for a simple, you could get these at the gas station and they could save your sight. Never go fishing without a pair of sunglasses. This segment has been brought to you by Lynn Thompson Lures, Canadian made for over 90 years and Rock Guard, protect your investment. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures made in North America for over 50 years. This feels like another great fish. <laughs> Archie, I don't want to leave this spot. We're supposed to be going for shore lunch, but we just released that, that big 43 incher. And this was my second or third cast and I don't think he's 43. Well, I don't know. You don't know what these fish. Oh, over top of Chuck. I just saw a flash and it's obviously it's a big fish. I got 20 pound braid and my drag set stiff and, and she's pulling it no problem. There she can just see the flash of her now. This is gonna be, we'll let Archie have a look, but I'm gonna guess around 38 to 40. Wow. This is a good spot, Archie. Coming to you now, Archie. Well, maybe not. Excellent. Quick measurement showed her at 41. Just two casts after we landed the 43. Let's get her back in the water too. These are your big females that spawn lay up to 500,000 eggs. Keep your, you need these predators in your, any, any river, any water body to keep, keep your water body healthy. And there she goes. Wow, thank you, sweetheart. That is amazing. Big Northern Pike on the Churchill River system is, which in my opinion, is the best freshwater fishery in the world. Saskatchewan, in my opinion, is the best freshwater fishery in the world. It was only two years ago I had the good fortune of fishing with Brad Pallister, the uh, great grandson and Jessica's brother. And now, now you get to go fishing Jessica's with Jessica's on and I get to fish with Jessica. It is not a fort, well maybe, it's ginormous! Uh oh, come on buddy. But what we've learned is where there's small ones, there's big ones because they feed on them. So you, like Stephanie did for me, get those small ones out of the way. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. <laughs> and um, I'll set the hooks into the big ones. But the little ones are scrappy too. They're super Isn't fun. it funny? The big ones are way easier to handle than the small ones. They can be for sure. That's why I just catch the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little one that stuck my Lynn Thompson in my own lip. Ouch. Just about that size. But do you have a battle scar like mine? I'm still Taking sporting a pause. it. Check this out. 45 inch pike right there. Bit my arm like it was Len Thompson. Just about bit it off. Just about bit it off. <laughs> Jessica, you've become an amazing fisherman. You got the fishing stories, you're catching big northern pike. I'm exaggerating. The 45 inch <laughs> thing is real. This gear talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Welcome to this week's gear talk. It's not every day that you get to fish with the great granddaughter of Len Thompson, Jessica Pallister Dew. We're here at the Lenny's for Ladies on the Churchill River system at Black Bear Island Lodge. Jessica, we have thrown a wide variety of Len Thompson lures. 
Everybody knows that Len Thompson Lures works for a wide variety of species, but you had something very unique and exciting that happened with Len Thompson this year. We certainly did. It's been a uh, pretty incredible year for us. It was our 90th anniversary in business. So we decided to do some pretty big things. And when I say big, I mean literally big. <laughs> we built the world's largest fishing lure. Soon to be world's largest pending. fishing lure. Pending. Pending. Pending world's Guinness largest. certification. Um, it was a pretty neat initiative. We wanted to do something for the community. And uh, we have been in Lacombe, Alberta for 61 years. And our hope is that it will not only bring visitors to our community, but it will really encourage people to come fishing because it's actually installed at the Len Thompson Fishing Pond. Tell us quickly about what you can get with custom lures. We love doing custom lures. We really can do it all. We custom paint them, we custom print them, and uh, if there's a specific color or for businesses, weddings, you name it, we, we love doing it. Anything you need, Len Thompson can customize your lure and they catch fish. Thanks for having us, Jessica. Thanks, it's, been it's been amazing. Been awesome. And the Ladies with Lenny's has been an incredible journey. That's this week's Bass Pro Shops Gear Talk. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Big Sky Flies and Jigs. This segment is brought to you by Lucky Bug Lures, get hooked on Lucky Bug Lures, and Tourism Saskatchewan. Start planning your visit today. And I just cast it out, same time. Got this, this is another 30 plus. This is a huge bay that Trevor's brought us in. Trevor's a lead guy with, guide with Black Bear Island Lodge and he knows this Churchill River system like the back of his hand. He's got a cabin right on it and knows where all these giants are. Pretty close to 40. Oh, this one would be getting measured. It's close to 40. <laughs> 40 right on the button. What a beautiful fish. I'm going to take a quick picture and get her back in the water. We're gonna get her back in the water. But again, 40 inches doesn't do these fish justice. I don't know if the camera can pick up how wide her back is. Like these are strong, healthy female northern pike. And this is why you don't be rough with the little pike, because the little pike that you're cursing when you catch today are these tomorrow. Besides? Yeah. Trevor thinks he's got a 37, and Trevor's been guiding on here a long time. Trevor's the lead guy, guide at Black Bear Island Lodge. Whoa! There's, uh, we didn't measure him. Um, he's not 40 inches, but he's, like Trevor said, I take Trevor's word, he's probably 37 plus. It's getting back in the water. Those off the hooks work great. Slide it out. Hold her by the tail. This is a, there she goes. Great representative fish of Black Bear Island Lodge, but there's, as you've seen, there's much bigger in here and possibly the next world record. Conservation Corner is brought to you by Brian Muir with IA Securities, aligning your financial future so you can spend more time outdoors. So we're here today fishing with Stephanie Roberts. Stephanie, you were fortunate enough to win the Ladies with Lenny's Challenge through the Len Thompson Black Bear Island Lodge and Fish in the Wild West Challenge. Now, Everybody, I've seen Stephanie's pictures of monster bull moose, monster bull elk, deer. She's caught her biggest northern pike, 42 and a half. You betcha. But Stephanie, aside from catching big fish and, and harvesting big animals, you do a lot more than that. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're involved with? I do. So in 2010, I decided that I wanted to start a youth outdoor program um, in Lethbridge, basically Southern Alberta. 
So I started a youth fishing tournament and our first year we had 16 kids and it's our first Saturday in June actually. So this year we had 600 kids and we estimate to have over 1500 people total at the event. So throughout the nine years we've had um, 4,000 kids go through just that portion of the program as well as almost 12,000 people go through the program or been a part of it. Well, so, and you started out with how many? 16. 16? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And so you, you educate youth how to fish, how to tie not, you know, hooks, uh, different fish species and the conservation side of it. We do. Yep. At the same time, you keep it fun for them. We do. So we have, um, yeah, it's, on. it's absolutely, uh, it's awesome to see that many kids out there. So I have a youth outdoor program as well um, that we teach, you know, species of fish, safe handling, safe tying um, of hooks, safe hook handling, and just all in all, the safest and best ways to enjoy the outdoors in Southern Alberta and Saskatchewan and all around Canada. That's one lady making that big of a difference. And that's, a, that's what one person, one man, woman, child can do to make a difference in the outdoors. Stephanie, I wanna thank you for everything you do for the outdoors. I truly believe that the outdoors is a better place with ladies in it. Thank you so much, Wes. Thanks for having us. And here we are at Black Rye Island Lodge having literally the time of my life. So it's been great. <laughs> Fishing the Wild West TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by the Canadian National Sportsman Shows and Wild Rose Brewery, branded with character. We're in a nice big bay here and the waves, wind is blowing the waves in, blowing bait fish in and we're just imitating bait fish. Trevor sees these fish every day, so when he says, nice one, nice one, it's probably pretty good. In the 40s, coming for the net, Trevor. Oh, and she's in the net, awesome. Okay, we took a quick measurement, and she's 42 inches. Um, I don't know what that works out to, the length ratio to weight, but she's about 25 pounds. You can see how thick she is across the back. It's an incredible fish. Every cast, you have the opportunity for these fish. And we've had to, you know, weed through some, weed through some 12, 10 and 12 pounders to get 25 pounders. So it's, it's a pretty good problem to have. <laughs> That's a fish of a lifetime 20 or 42 inch pike 44 and currently right now this week um, Jessica granddaughter of Len Thompson lures great granddaughter is leading it with 45 inch pike 45 inch northern pike may not be on every cast but every cast you have the opportunity for 45 inch pike wrapped in the weeds we don't know how big he is there's a lot of weeds but that's a, that, that's, a line on the weeds. that's a good fish there you see all the weeds on the on the line sorry Trevor no problem, no problem. <laughs> yeah there's there's a decent fish for sure at the end of this weed line <laughs> I wonder if the fish are in the weeds. <laughs> there, yep, there she is. <laughs> Trevor just did another quick measurement and it's 40 right on the button. Beautiful fish. Let's get her back in the water. There she goes, right to the bottom of four feet of water. <laughs> awesome.
awesome. I'm going back fishing. This is incredible. Trevor brought us in, our guide brought us in to what he calls the rice field. It's only about two, two and a half feet of water. He says, you're gonna have to be on the gun. And what he meant by that was, you cast it out and as soon as it hits, you start retrieving. If it sinks down even a foot, your, your lure's weeded up and nothing. And even though we're reeling fast, they hit it. They're moving fast to get it. <laughs> In the rice fields. Yeah, this is a, a lot better than I thought when I first set the hook. Yeah. Better fish than I thought. <laughs> He's kind of in control right now. Yeah. <laughs> These are so strong. Oh, yeah. Just a mid 30s. That's all I can really say. It's incredible fish. Away she goes. Well, that's a wrap from here at Black Bear Island Lodge and the Ladies with Lanny's Challenge. The girls were amazing. I highly encourage anyone to come and do a trip like this. You don't have to be an expert to catch monster pike like this, but you will be an expert when you leave. Unfortunately, I lost my bet and I'm going to honor it. Jessica's 45 inch northern pike beat out my 44 inch northern pike, so I'll be serving the ladies supper tonight. I'm your host, Wes David, Fish in the Wild West TV. To spend 10 hours on this fishing boat. No cell phone service and no long to mow. What matters most that I'm all alone. Living a dream, fishing a stream. Fishing a stream, living a dream. Living a dream, fishing a stream.